Good evening and welcome to this new tutorial um, for Basic Mechanics 2. Uh, this tutorial belongs to Lecture 19, uh, General Plane Motion. Uh, it, uh, in your class notes, this exam, uh, this 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 example is number nine uh, in page 21. Uh, you are required here to find the angular acceleration for a roll of paper uh, being pulled down with a force of uh, 30 newtons. The radius was 125, and you can see it is being supported by this uh, link AB, uh, by bo from both sides, of course, but uh, in, uh, it is being uh, pinned supported by this link AP, and you can see uh, the, the relevant geometry of the support here. Um, the the roll uh, um, leans against the wall, and there is a friction here. So the 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 the, the, the coefficient of kinetic friction was 0.2. Uh, so yes, uh, we can start by uh, identifying the forces that, that act on the roll as it was being uh, unrolling. A um, so we will start with the free body diagram. So first we started with the 30 newtons downward. We have here the link, the link, the force of the link acting here. Uh, force uh, F A B. And we have here the friction uh, because we are we were applying the torque in this direction. Uh, uh, in, in a clockwise way, the friction should be acting in the opposite direction in the clockwise way. So the direction of the friction is going in this way, going down, going downward, in opposite, in, 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 in an ob, uh, creating an opposite moment to the moment that wa that was applied by the 30 newtons. A, uh, so here's the friction. We have, of course, the normal force between the between the roll and the surface here. So we have here the normal the normal force, uh, which was here. So we'll say, okay, here we have the normal force from the surface towards the towards the roll. Okay, so we have here the uh, normal normal force, the normal force here. So. The FAB, the friction, the 30 meters, and the and the normal force, and finally, finally, the weight of the roll itself. The weight of the roll itself is going down. We can say it is W. Now we can uh, resolve this uh, force by identifying the angle here. Uh, quite easily, we say, okay, here's the angle. Um, the 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 tan, the, uh, the theta here is the tan inverse of this length, uh, 0.3 meters, over this length, 0.125 meters, and this should give us uh, 67.38 degrees. Uh, so the, uh, the uh, in, in, in this direction, so this force now, is equal to F A B cosine uh, 67.38 and in this direction in this direction in the Y direction uh, we have F A B F A B uh, sine 67.38 now we would say, okay, we have um, this. Uh, we can we can do the summation of all forces in the y direction to be equal to zero because the roll itself is not going up, it's not going down, it is fixed. So uh, summation of all forces acting on the roll in, 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 in this situation is equal to zero. So we say, okay, we have the friction. We have the friction, we have the weight, which is this, we have the 30 newtons, which is this, we have the FAB minus FAB uh, sine theta equals to zero. Of course, you can say this is the, the this is the positive force and these are the negative forces. It's up to you. Um, 
So we will uh, deal with this friction to be uh, mu k times n plus mg plus 30 minus fab times sine uh, 67.38 and this is equal to zero. Now we have here uh, mu k is equal to 0.2 n plus uh, the mass was given to be uh, 20 newtons 20 20 kilograms I'm sorry the mass of the of the of the of the roll was given in the question to be uh, 20 kilograms um, 20 times 9.81 plus 30 minus FAB sine 67.38 equals to zero and say the whole thing here is equal to um, we can rearrange the whole equation and it would equal to 0.2 n minus uh, 0.923 FAB equals to minus 226.2 so this is the first equation this is the first equation that we generated from the summation forces in the y direction now we will, we will need to have a look at the summation of forces in the x direction. Uh, the summation of forces in the x direction is of course equals to zero because the roll itself is not going uh, is, got, is not going to the right, the right and it's not going to, to the left. So the summation of all forces in the x direction is equal to zero. Uh, what forces we have in the x direction is the n, the normal force, and the x component of the force uh, AB. So we'll say um, n minus uh, FAB cosine 67.38, uh, which is equal to 0. And rearranging this, we will generate another equation n equals to 0.385. F A B. So this is the second equation. This is the second equation that we will use later for uh, calculating uh, for calculating for the F A B and the normal force. So we have here now two equations with two unknowns. Um, we can uh, semi solving the two equations simultaneously would give us F A B to be equal to twenty six point uh, twenty. I'm sorry, twenty six seven. 0.4 newtons. Uh, this is the, the the force uh, in the in the link itself, in the link that holds the uh, the roll in place. Uh, FAB is equal to 267.4 newtons, and the normal force is equal to um, 102.95 newtons. So this is the normal force between the roll and the uh, and the wall. Now, to calculate for the alpha, to calculate for the alpha, uh, we would need to consider um, the, what forces that create moments around the center of mass, around the center of gravity of the roll itself. Uh, um, so it is up to us actually to decide the positive and the negative directions, but it is always recommended to take the force that cause the, the motion in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in the given direction to be the positive to be the to be the positive force that creates the positive moment so if the roll is rotating in this in this way so we can say this is the positive direction even if even if the the rolling direction is uh, clockwise sure but we can take it take take the moment uh, with which the 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 roll rolls uh, the roll rolls with uh, to be the positive to be the positive direction so we say the 30 newtons creates a positive moment even if it is a clockwise as, as I said because it is causing the motion in the in the in the given direction uh, for the uh, for the friction for the friction here uh, we can say it creates a, a negative moment uh, so we have only just these two forces that uh, that, the, that, 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 that create moments around the center of mass. 
the the other forces here this one and this one and this one and this one they don't create anything they don't do any more because there's because their directions um, pass through the the center here uh, so we would say we we'll keep this uh, I'm try I'll try to keep so solving the problem but with keeping the um, the, uh, the the forces that I drew already for the free body diagram so I'm gonna say sure uh, for the summation for the summation of moment around point O or J, G whatever uh, I times alpha this is the the, the, the the rule for calculating for the uh, summation of moments we know already that the I is equal to M K squared and the K is the radius of gyration and it was given to be um, 90 millimeters so we say okay the weight the mass of uh, this roll is 20 kilograms times 0 0.09 squared and uh, this is the, uh, the 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 moment of inertia so we'll take this moment we'll take this equation and say okay what kind of forces do we have to uh, that create moment so we'll start with the we'll start with the 30 newtons and say okay um here uh, 30 newtons times the 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 vertical distance uh, which is uh, uh, 0.125 and we have the friction and with with the with the with the with the vertical uh, with the vertical distance to be uh, also again also 125 millimeters so we have minus friction times 0.125 equals to this uh, this this value 20 times 0 0.09 squared times the alpha which we don't know a uh, so we're gonna continue solving this problem and say okay 30 uh, times times 0 0.125 minus um, uh, 0 0.125 times mu k mu k was uh, 0.2 times the and uh, the normal force i'm gonna keep it a bit uh, equals to 20 times 0 0.09 squared alpha uh, the normal force uh, was calculated already to be uh, 102.95 and uh, solving solving the uh, solving the equations here uh, this 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 uh, equation uh, would give us the alpha to be uh, 7.26 rod bare second squared that's it and thank you for watching